What's up guys today? Y'all may see this for sale sign. But for sale 1,500 or 50. Yeah. But that's for sale. <laughs> Someone just honked at me. I don't know who it was, but um yeah, YZ85. Um it's for sale. I ain't promising y'all this is the last time y'all see her, but um it might be if you follow my Instagram or um or on my Facebook or Snapchat or um yeah y'all would have saw that the 85 has been up for sale but I know a lot of y'all don't follow me on some of that stuff so I'm here to post a YouTube video about it so if you live in Georgia you can buy this bike we're not delivering it out to you. Now we can we can meet you somewhere if you want to buy it. And I know it's kind of like the lighting's not so good, but the sun's really bright today, so I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you some of y'all maybe not some of y'all may not watch my videos, and y'all might be wanting this bike. I'm going to be showing y'all what we've done to it and yeah so this bike is a yz85 2006 and um yeah let's start from the top to the bottom front and then we'll start from there and then go down there and then go back so we have the mica metals the handlebars so we got yeah we got those sponsored by them we got arc racing or not racing but i don't even know arc clutch and brake unbreakables so see they've been all the way like that the clutch is good um only thing that i see wrong with it i don't know if y'all can see but that wire is about to break so that's what's causing the noise See. So y'all might if y'all buy it then y'all might wanna re y'all might wanna buy a new clutch cable. Um because well I mean it'll still last a long time because um it's lasted ever because it made that noise ever since I bought it, I'm pretty sure, which was about a year and a couple months ago. So yeah definitely will last much longer i just raced it um last week i was going to record it but my gopro was dead so i'm sorry about that but um yeah then we have fly handle grip handlebar grips and i got these parker 830 donuts um on each side so y'all, if y'all watch me, if y'all watch my videos, um, how awesome would it be to buy your, like, some of y'all, like, a lot, I've heard some of y'all say I'm y'all's favorite YouTuber, which is incredible, and imagine owning a dirt bike that used to be your favorite YouTubers, <laughs> that's crazy, or imagine owning a dirt bike that, um, a youtubers old dirt bike like that'd be awesome for me this is a ufo restyled fender front fender there was a ufo sticker but when i was pressure washed it um it flew off there are a little bit of scratches let's see oh my gosh oh jeep but um Yes. All right, guys. I had to cut that out because y'all may still hear it, but it was a Jeep. It was like really loud because it had big tires on it. There's a little bit of scratches from where I've crashed it a couple times, but uh, yeah, it's all good. That's gonna happen with a dirt bike. Um, let me think. We have, I'll get to that later. Um, 
so there's a1 racing suspension it's not the full setup y'all it's just we um a couple of months ago we got the oil refilled and we got my weight set up for it so it's weighed up for about a hundred pound person or i mean you can really you can um still ride it even if you're above 100 it's just that was set up for me for like racing and for the best feeling now it still feels really nice but um it's like i don't know i'm just telling y'all that so if you're like 200 pounds i mean it still will ride great and it's still good so you don't have to worry about that um because i'm really skinny for 14 but um not i weigh 115 i weigh 115 and sorry like cars are passing by i got it out by the road so people can see it but um yeah that's why i got it up for 100 so we got the front tire we got dunlop tires sponsored by them too um i think that says i can't tell what that is i think it says nah i don't know y'all oh uh, they're mx32 f's so that's the um front tire model of it so yeah all right moving on to here we got decal works um graphics so i got if y'all want it like i can i know there's a little bit of scratches on it there went another person beeping at me and i know there's still kind of like some cuts and scratches and everything in it and it didn't come with this i just put it on there i know it looks like it did but no that's a separate sticker and it came with it so it only comes with yamaha fmf and decal works but i got a whole nother one of these and i think another one of these see that's kind of like i don't know it's kind of like turning yellow right there but if y'all want some extra decals y'all can have them for free with the bike so yeah um i bought a metal gas top but then it didn't fit and I like this part of it, so I just cut that and put it on so it has this. So it still works as fine. Um, once again. Or either it came with this one. I don't know if it came with that one. I'm not sure. All I know is I got some extra decals. It didn't come with the Scott sticker. I put that on it too, so. Yeah, here we have the, um, A1 racing sticker and here we have the 830 nicholas parker 830 and yeah so um the rims are pretty clean um yeah so they're decent for uh 2006 now this is stained but i'm sure there's some kind of cleaner that you can get it off with um we really haven't done nothing to the radiator we've put we put new engine oil in it we've um we've done well all right if y'all if y'all buy this bike sure we'll tell you but yeah we'll just or with the shocks after every time you're riding after every time you ride it on this top bolt you're supposed to get a flat head screwdriver and screw it just like a little not a lot but just a little bit to where it's kind of cracked and leave it there for about five seconds and then close it back because that's what you have to do when you have racing suspension or yeah but then we have yeah we put a new oil in it and everything so and the, we put new water in the radiator so or yeah we did we basically keep the engine clean and stuff we rebuilt the top end on it not it didn't need a top end we just decided we just decided to put uh the another top end on it just to make it a little bit faster but yeah it still got the stock gears and there 
see they do that. Um, yeah, here's the engine and the on and off switch for the gas. We got Turner foot pegs, which are a lot bigger than the stock ones. Let's see on this side, one of the little pointy things and a two of the pointy things fell out, but it still works like with all of them on there you really can't tell they even fell out but then we have a new front sprocket it's not brand new but we recently put a new one on there a while back so it it still has a lot of tread on it so you won't have to be replacing it anytime soon and same with the back i forgot how many teeth are on it but i'm sorry about that and also the chain we recently got this at the same time as the sprockets both and here's some more decals um i raced with this bike and i've won a lot of times y'all if you don't believe me check out some of my videos of me in my room and you'll see all the trophies and plaques and stuff but yeah so then on this side also have another turner um foot peg and this side lost one two three four five but it still like i said it still feels like um all of them are on and it doesn't affect you one bit really so then we got the stock brake too all the brakes work nothing is wrong on this bike except for the clutch cable and that's really not a problem it still works like good and once again a1 racing suspension we got the back suspension all oiled up and everything too so yeah we got the stock um this part of the exhaust is still stock so you know then we got that and um this came on it when i bought it but it was like another blue bolt so also spark plug is still good um this the spark plug is not built up with all that gooey stuff because i I really this thing doesn't it never gets bogged down now if you look at some of my older videos where I first got it yeah it did bog down but um, that's because I first got it and it was my first clutch dirt bike this thing's driven really good taken really care of yeah it has scratches on it but I've been racing for over a year now so that's gonna happen so see it's kind of turned you really can't tell but yeah you really can't tell but it's kind of starting to get yellow but that's because of the dirt so then again we have decal works um seat cover that works it grips you a lot more than the stock seat cover so that's always good uh what else we got the we have yeah another 830 sticker and that has a scratch on it from someone's front tire sliding across it and yeah another decal works and i put that on it it's an air filter i have on it or i think i have the air filter on it right now i mean there's an air filter on it i just don't know if it's that brand but um yo know, there's still we've um replaced these brake things i forgot what they're called a couple times now and they still got some metal on it so you won't have to be replacing these anytime soon either or the disc brake so, so yeah that's probably brooks calling me in the woods but. <laughs> then we have an fms shorty pipe um the old does it really doesn't this bike doesn't smoke really i mean it, it does smoke but that's because it's a two-stroke it doesn't really smoke when you're riding it it only smokes when you warm it up and it's like cold so or i mean it smokes when you crank it up but that's normal for a two-stroke it doesn't smoke like there's anything wrong in the engine so nothing's really wrong with that um now the back rim it's all good too but there's still kind of some stains from the from racing but these are mx 52s dunlop tires and the tread is really good y'all so yeah dunlop i think i already said but yeah so you won't have so are the front treads so you won't have to be um buying new tires anytime soon either 
but um yeah here we do have a hole in the mud flap but that is because um my old exhaust which was an fmf it was a um a silencer technology silencer i believe i still have it but this part um i was letting my friend race with it because his 85 was tore up and he jumped a ramp and he like he back then or yeah i don't know if he's still racing anymore i don't, really haven't kept up in touch with him but back then he would jump way higher than me and land more stuff than me and so the exhaust broke and then it burned that so yeah that's what's up with that um yeah we got the dunlop decals up on the back too um yeah there's another parker 830 thing and yeah the forgot to show you all the front brake but arc unbreakables front brakes work really good we also um put new oil in that too a couple of months ago so yeah everything works good it's a strong bike also fast bike so if you're stepping up and wanting to get an 85 or if you're wanting to get an 85 anyway just to ride around or uh practice bike or anything this is definitely the way to go um 2006 yz 85 1500 now at, when i was racing at alma um we told a guy that it was for sale for 1500 he said it was an actually that's actually a good deal for this bike and it really is y'all so um some of y'all might be like dude why are you selling the 85 we love your dirt bike videos well guys if i sell this I'm getting a 2015, hopefully 2015, YZ250F, so that should be excited. I'm stepping up, so that's why I'm selling it, and yeah, um, <laughs> that's all I really have to say, the, yeah, handlebars work good, and throttle works good, not sticky at all, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, the clutch does wiggle around a little bunch, but it really doesn't aggravate you when you're on the track. That wiggles around a little bit. But the clutch is set up good, so you only have to use two fingers, and it's real easy. But that's what, um, if you're trained, I was trained by Carl Scott, so that's why I use two fingers. Because really, you're supposed to either use one, I think either you can use one or two so yeah but that's a whole nother video and yeah so that's my yz85 for sale yeah there's brooks <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um text me on instagram my instagram username will be right here or my facebook or all my social media will be on the screen y'all can talk to me about it if you want to buy it so yeah see you guys in the next youtube video and bye